No quicker way to support, uh, lose support for a supplementary order paper than the speech such as we saw. But, Mr Speaker, Labor will be supporting both of them. Calling up Dennis O'Rourke. I want to talk about the SOPs too, and in particular my own. And I want to say straight away that I'm a little sorry for David Seymour that my SOP to delete all of the most objectionable parts of the bill is longer than his. And uh, size does matter in this, as my list is actually more complete than his was. So I'm sorry for him about that. But I would remind him also that, as I said in the first reading speech to this bill, New Zealand First would never support what is now called the Mana Wakahono Arohe provisions, the iwi participation uh, provisions in this bill. And we are sticking by that commitment, as stated quite clearly by Right Honourable Winston Peters today. Now, the other thing that my uh, SOP does is to delete clause 105, which inserts the objectionable section 360D. And I did want to refer to the exact words of that provision because I think it's important. What it says is the Governor-General may, by order and council made on the recommendation of the Minister, make regulations to prohibit or remove specified rules or types of rules that would duplicate, overlap with or deal with the same subject matter as is included in other legislation. Now, the Minister has sought to argue that this is quite a narrow provision that is quite limited in the way it could be applied. But in fact, if you look at what the, what the uh, bill actually says, the meaning of those words are actually quite wide. And they are available for many things, not just in relation to uh, genetically engineered crops, uh, but also would be available for a, number, for a wide range of other things as well, provided the minister considers that there is some kind of duplication or overlap or dealing with, dealing with, how wide could you possibly get? It's a very wide provision and not nearly as narrow as the minister argues. And I also want to read uh, section 360D4, because what that says is, regulations made under this section may require that rules inconsistent with those regulations be withdrawn or amended. Now, the minister tried to argue that all this was about is an ability to chop things out, but he can require amendment. Now, how far could that go? I'm arguing that it could actually go quite a long way. And here he goes again. He's, he's shaking his head as though what I'm saying isn't true, but I've just read what the bill actually says, and most people, Minister, do understand that the word amended goes a lot further than just a power to take something out. It can require something to be put in as well. So I think he's quite wrong about that, and that's why New Zealand First will certainly move the deletion of Clause 105. I want to go on to talk about the SOP uh, moved by David Seymour, because he very strangely, in this SOP, wants to add a new Section 6H. This relates to matters of national importance. And what he's persuasing, trying to persuade us to do is to, is to believe that the protection of private property rights, whatever that may mean in this context, is a matter of national importance. And he's also trying to argue that what he calls the effective functioning of the build environment. He hasn't even got his grammar correct. The build environment uh, is also a matter of national importance. And he goes on to say similarly that the efficient provision of infrastructure should be added to Section 6 as a matter of national importance. These things simply aren't at that level, and he ought to know that. This SOP should certainly not be supported for those reasons. And, uh, and the, the last one, the efficient use and development of natural and physical resources, including the benefits derived from the use and development, these are actually uh, duplicated elsewhere in terms of the management of nat national resources in the Act already. So that's an SOP which is not well thought out and should not be supported. 
Moving on, uh, Mr Speaker, to, however, uh, David Parker's SOP, which New Zealand First will support, and that's the one relating to Mr, Spe uh, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Chairman. Uh, Barbara Kuriger. Well. I'm going to call out Stephen Browning. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Got a bit dizzy standing up and down so many times. 